Hello? Yeah, I'm craving that goat milk. <sighs> why do you suppose that Americans aren't really into drinking goat milk? I've spent a lot of time wondering why people have this weird association with goat milk, and I haven't really gotten to the bottom of it yet. I make goat milk ice cream. Goat milk ice cream? Yes. And so a lot of people come into the store and ask if I make goat cheese ice cream, like, all the time. I think it's just one of those things where people just don't know enough about goat milk. Would you say that uh, you are pushing boundaries with this goat milk ice cream? Because to me it sounds like, you know, a spoonful of sugar helps the idea of drinking goat milk go down. We're just at the tip of the iceberg with exploring the uses of goat milk here. Let's try some. Whoa. Tastes better than cow's milk. I think so too. No, this is way better than cow's milk. Uh, it's really bright, it's refreshing. I think it's a little bit more full body than cow's milk. It has a little bit more depth of flavor. Um, depending on where you get it from and the seasons, you're gonna taste a little bit of what the goats are eating. It's gonna be a little bit more grassier and fresh in the summer. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more rich in the fall. It's more about the texture and the digestibility. I think you'll feel different rather than taste a difference. Uh, when you say it's it's easier to digest. What are you talking about? The lactose molecule is smaller than in cow's milk. So people who have lactose intolerance, I'm not lactose intolerant, but I do notice a difference when I have goat's milk or goat milk ice cream. Goat's milk is naturally homogenous because of the fat molecule being smaller. Mm. So the fat doesn't separate from it. So we've established that the milk is not very intimidating, but I'm dying to try your spoonful of sugar, so to speak. So I brought um, our salted caramel, which is made with goat milk caramel. Mm. Oh man. People get angry if we don't have this at the store. I can imagine. I, for the amount of sweetness in there, which is- A lot. Like, it, it, it's intense. It's, I want more and I want more. And the texture of it is unlike any other soft serve I, I had. I think goat's milk, because of its nice natural flavor and also because of the amount of fat it has in it, you can taste the flavor more of the actual ice cream. Yeah. I brought some more ice cream. They brought honey lavender. This is our chocolate flavor. Whoa. So then I also brought a goat cheesecake. What? Heavenly. So what we have here is goat's milk and an absolute barrage of delicious goaty sweet treats. I'd like to try this in a savory application to test, can this lighten one of the heaviest, richest sauces that I know of? Can I try it? Yes! I think that with goat milk, I can make an Alfredo that is worth eating in the summer. And I'm gonna start by uh, mincing up some garlic, like two cloves, six ounces of your standard goat cheese, and then another uh, two and a half cups hard goat cheese. Now, because there's no cream in that, I don't know exactly how it's gonna behave. So I think that we might be able to add some thickening power with a little bit of cornstarch. Maybe like two tablespoons and a little bit of water. Mix this good guy right up to the burner. So medium heat, a little nice olive oil. I'm just going to infuse that garlic flavor into the olive oil. I'm gonna add the goat milk and we're gonna get that cooking, get those flavors merry. Then I'm gonna slowly whisk in the cheeses. We'll let that cook a little bit more. Now it's time to drop some pasta, because I'd like to get a little color in this guy. I'm using some spinach pasta. A little pinch of white pepper, and a healthier pinch of coriander. Now, lime zest, one of my favorites. Then finally, nutmeg. I'm gonna give it a quick stir, and then add our slurry. Now we're getting that super creamy Alfredo texture. Pasta's done. Give it a little shake. Now look at that. That's Alfredo. And it looks harmless. I can't wait to gussy it up a little. Dill, pow, 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 pow. Are you wasabi familiar? Peas. Yeah, wasabi peas. Why not, right? A little crush. Let's see what you think. Ta-da! I like cooking things kind of on the fly and seeing what happens. This is like Alfredo light. Mm. And the lime zest is really good, really wakes it up. I don't think that this or any of those other components will work well with this dish unless that, that bright 
refreshing goat milk flavor was present. Yeah, I think that the the sauce is still really light and nice, but it also creamy. Sure, you can see it's, I mean, it's sticking to every bit of pasta. I mean, in my opinion, that's the sign of a good pasta sauce when it's excited about mingling with noodles. Sophia, thanks so much for bringing the goat milk, all of your sweet goat treats, and I, I really hope you enjoyed what I did with it. Yep, I'm gonna be making this at home.